Alright, what's up? I'm Ayan, and today I'm gonna show you how to unlock and play Android 10's Easter Egg game. Go to settings, all the way down to about phone, software information, then tap Android version many times until this pop up. Create the letter Q by double tapping one and it will rotate just like this. After you create Q, the background lines will start moving. When you create Q, double tap on Android at will rotate and double tap on it quickly and this will open up the game. And this is Android 10 Easter Egg. Here we have to make icons by understanding the puzzles. This puzzle may look so simple but sometimes it is gonna make you feel nuts. Now let me show you how to play this game. The first and the last two columns are already filled as they require zero squares. The first two and the last row is also filled with zero squares. The second column required one square, it's filled. The third column required two squares, it's also filled. The fourth column required two separate pairs of squares. The fifth column required nine squares with no distance. Or should I say separation. Now let's fast forward it to see what we end up creating. Well, this level was a tough one. I was very unable to figure out the sequence of squares from the sixth column. Then I decided to play from the right side and soon I was able to figure out this beautiful icon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is icon volume ringer mute. Touch this green button to move to the next level. Now we are in the second level. In this level all the rows are filled except for the two. And all the columns require one one squares. And this one is icon drag handle. Let's move to level 3. Well this level was a long one and a easy one. First three columns and the last two columns are already filled. First row and the last row is also filled. The fourth row required 13 squares together and the fifth one also required 13 squares together. But the sixth column required 6 squares together and 1 alone. At first I went really confused but I figured it out soon. Alright so the seventh column is a really interesting one where it requires 6 squares, 3 squares and 1 square. which. I did it in a matter of seconds. The 8th column is 10 and 1, which is uh, not too tough. The ninth column is 11 and 1, which is easy to understand. Now let's just fast forward it to see what we end up making. It's a quite fun, right? And this is Sim Toolkit. And that's been it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Oh.